What is the biggest mistake I see Kansas City home buyers make? Hi, I'm Rach the Realtor. I was voted best real estate agent in Kansas City last year by readers of the Pitch Magazine. Thank you. And I'm licensed on both sides of the state line. Now, let's talk about poop. It is underestimating the sewer line. That is a massive mistake that I've seen buyers make in the Kansas City metro area. I feel like people in the Midwest know to be scared of foundation problems. They know to look for cracks. They know how expensive foundation repairs can be, but the general public is super uneducated when it comes to the sewer line. And rightfully so, because who wants to talk about poop? I actually just went in depth on this with a local sewer line inspection company called the Sewer Doctors on my podcast, Connecting Kansas City. But high level let's break down what you need to know about a sewer line if you are a homeowner or hope to be a homeowner in the Kansas City Metro one day the biggest thing you need to know as a homeowner is that you are responsible for the sewer line from your house all the way to where it connects to the city main talking about a pipe that's buried underground that runs from your house to the city main the city main might just be 30 feet away just in the front of your yard or it could be across the street in the front of your neighbor's yard it could be really far away and you are responsible for making sure that your sewage gets from your home through that pipe to the city main the most common issues that pop up with sewer lines are tree roots things in the sewer line that shouldn't be in the sewer line and sags tree roots can like puncture the sewer line. Those things are super invasive. They can get in your foundation too. But especially if your house was bit, built like in the 80s or earlier, you probably have a clay pipe, which is extra conducive to tree roots getting in it and then blocking up that sewer line. Also, fun fact, flushable wipes, not flushable. Don't flush anything down your toilet except for what is disposed of from your body into the toilet and toilet paper. These sewer lines can get super clogged up from flushable products. A sag in the line can actually even happen in a brand new home. It's basically if the ground is shifting underneath it and then the line kind of sags like this and then it has to come back up, then you're working against gravity to get the sewage from your home to the city main, which means it could back up into your house. So what can you do to prevent this becoming an issue in your life? Number one, when you buy a house, have the sewer line inspected, have a qualified professional run a camera down the sewer line and make sure it looks good. Number two, get sewer line insurance coverage. Sometimes it's called service line insurance coverage and water intrusion coverage. Just call your insurance agent right now, no matter how long you've owned your home and ask them how much it would cost to add that to your policy. And lastly, don't flush anything down the toilet. Like I said, that does not come out of your body or is not toilet paper. You do not want to clog in your sewer line. Now you know, the biggest mistake I see homeowners make is underestimate the sewer line.